ice sheet is melting in summertime. It has been melting in summertime uh, quite a while, as always. But of course, over the past uh, decades, melting has been accelerating. Every year, you have more and more melting, and this made in such a way that Greenland has been losing more mass. What you see behind me, all this dark material, is a combination of dust, soot, you have also some components of meteorite. You have the moraine, which is basically the rock that the ice grinds as it moves forward and it leaves it around and the wind blows it on the ice. All this material is very dark, so as such absorbs a lot of the solar radiation and it allows the ice to melt faster. where you have more heat and you have water, you have likely life. So these darker patches behind us, even here or even up to the ice, is the only place on the ice sheet where you have life. And you have different kinds of microorganisms. You have bacteria, you have algae. As you go up and up and the ice gets cleaner, the darker material, it melts the ice around it much faster than the ice then this creates some patches on the snow. These holes basically become filled with water and become the, the oasis of these ecosystems and the microorganisms. The presence of these microorganisms further uh, makes things darker and further enhances melting. How is this going to impact, again, the contribution of sea level rise by the Greenland ice sheet? How is the bacteria and algae living here are impacting our society along the coast of New York City, along the coast of Florida? And there is a connection that very few people know, but the connection is there and is driving our, our society because the sea level rise, even a few inches, together with storm surges, can create economic damage, social damage, and can change our lifestyle as we know it. The biggest problem is that the changes that we're seeing over the past centuries, decades, are very likely unprecedented uh, with respect to the changes that happened in the past in similar circumstances. The time scale is different. Before we had the warming of the earth and the sea level rising at a much longer time scales because it was not due to the greenhouse gas emission and the increase of CO2 in the atmosphere. This ice has been here for thousands of years. It was here even you know, before Rome was born. So this is fascinating. It tells us a lot also about the history of the Earth, how some processes change from scales to, from millennia to centennial to decadal time scales. To build an ice sheet is a very long process. Uh, you have a snow piling on top of more snow. The weight of the snow on top compresses the air out, then you form the ice. It is a very long, elaborated process, and it takes really a very short time period to melt it out. It's a blanket of ice, but also it's what I call the elephant skin. It's a very powerful dormant animal, but when we wake it up, he has the power to destroy everything he runs through.